Hello guys, today we'll be doing the motion graph, velocity versus time graph. I'll explain what is happening in the velocity versus time graph, then we'll get into the questions that are found in the past papers. So before I start explaining, I just want us to remember every time you see the word velocity, you must think of speed, right? We will just assume that this graph is explaining to us the motion of a car, right? So the initial velocity of this car is zero meters per second. So every time the line is moving up, the velocity is changing. As you can see that it moved from zero velocity. Now it moved up until it got to five meters per second, until it got to the velocity of five meters per second. So what is it happening here? What is happening to the motion of a car? The car is increasing its speed. What is acceleration? Acceleration simply means that an increase in speed. So I like to look at it like this. We move from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what are the numbers doing? The numbers are increasing, right? So as the numbers are increasing, that means the velocity is, the, the speed is increasing. So that's why there's change in the velocity and it is accelerating. So when we get to this point, it is written constant velocity. What does this mean? This simply means that there is zero acceleration. There is no acceleration, no deceleration. So that means that the car is moving at a constant velocity. As you can see that the car is moving at a constant velocity of 5 meters per second, right? As time is also um, moving, the, the car is moving at a constant velocity, right? And then... So constant velocity simply means that there is no increase in speed, nor is there decrease in speed. The, the car is just moving at the same speed of 5 meters per second. Then we move to the third section, which is decelerating. So decelerating, I look at it the same way I look at acceleration. It is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As you can see, the car is now decreasing in speed. To reduce your speed or to decrease your speed is simply called deceleration. So now the car is changing its velocity and it is decelerating. It is decreasing its speed. So guys, one of the things that used to get me confused is what happens when it gets to this point, when they ask me to explain the motion of this point or describe the motion when it gets to this point. Guys, this is simple. When you see that the, the graph is now cutting through the x-axis and it's going to the negative, the negative velocity, guys, negative velocity, which simply means that when it gets to this point, now the values are negative. This means that the car changed its direction it changed its direction now it's moving in the opposite direction what that means is that if this car was moving in uh, this, this car was moving westwards now it changed its direction and it's moving at the opposite of westward which is eastwards right so guys we'll look at past paper questions but before i look at that i want to show you this so guys, this is what I mean, right? Like I said, the car was moving westwards and then it changes its direction and now it's moving in the opposite direction and the opposite of west is east. If the car was moving north, it changes its direction and now it's moving south. The question that you are most likely to come across in the exam is whereby they tell you to describe the motion. So I will use a past paper question to help us describe the motion. So in this question, we have the velocity time graph that represents a motion of a girl riding her bicycle, right? In a north direction, right? It's moving in the north direction. So now we know that the initial velocity is the starting point where the graph starts. So the initial velocity here, the initial velocity is 5 meters per second. So guys, at 4.3.1, it says that describe the motion of the girl. Describe the motion of the girl from B to C. What is happening at B to C? Right, As you can see that I circled the, the points B to C. So I said that as the line is going up, you already know that the velocity is increasing. And how is our velocity increasing, guys? So how do you put that in an exam or test, guys? So this is how you're going to write it down. 
So this is how you're going to write it in the test or exam, that the gal is accelerating at the velocity of 5 meters per second to 10 meters per second. As you can see that the girl is accelerating from those points, which is 5 meters per second to 10 meters per second. Guys, when you get a graph or the grid that looks like this, be very careful when stating that it's 5 meters per second to 10 meters per second. Sometimes, let's say for instance, this is 4,8, right? So guys, you must be very careful, guys. You must always use your ruler so that you can get the correct numbers on your y-axis. So we look at 4.3.2. We have from C to D. What is happening from point C to D? So they're talking about this. And then we immediately know that this is constant velocity. So this is how you put it in the test also. You can just pause the video and try it out yourself. Guys, this is how I'll write it down. The girl is riding her bicycle at a constant velocity of 10 meters per second. As you can see that she is riding her bike at a constant velocity. So if they say that describe the motions from D to E, guys, then you know that the girl is decelerating at the velocity of 10 meters per second to 0 meters per second. So in the next video, I'll be explaining how do you actually do the calculations using without the equations of motion